Ugh, I just don't get it. This place just gets weirder and weirder. Oh, how convenient. A resting place. Finally, I'll be able to relax. <sighs> just a moment, peasant. Huh? Who who's in there? I am. What the heck are you? I am the most superior creature in all the world. I am a caterpillar. Huh, that's fake news. Caterpillars aren't even worth that much besides turning into butterflies. You hold your tongue. My species are superior to everyone. But tell me, who are you? The name's Chloe. Hmm, interesting. I think I've heard of you before. Okay, that's not creepy at all. But what brings you to the Toji Wood? Oh, just trying to find my way out of this weird place. Well, it's not that weird. Hmm, <laughs> peasant. Well, excuse me. At least tell me this. Do you know where a little white rabbit was running to? A white rabbit, you say? Hmm. Ah, yes. I think he was running to King to King Spaden's castle. Spaden? Who's that? He's the king of spades. But he works with the judge of hearts, you know. I think I've heard of him. Do you know the way to the castle? You go that way, my dear. But you may regret it. If it means being reunited with my friend, then I won't. Good day. Well, I tried to warn her. I've never seen this part of the wood before. <sighs> Such beautiful mountains. I wish my brother could see this. I hoped Max and Goji could have too. <laughs> I just wish I could have had lunch with my friends again. One last time. <laughs> huh? What? What was that? Twas Bwillig, and the slivy toes, did guile in the gimbal in the wave, for Mimsy were the burrow goes, and the momrebs outgrave. What a silly poem. Well, what's the matter with silly? <laughs> Nothing's the matter. Well, what's the matter with you? I just wish I could have said goodbye to my dear friends before I went into this strange world. Mr. Cat! Don't go! Well, I guess I'm stuck here. You don't have to be. Maybe this is all just a dream. What do you mean this is all just a dream? Maybe it could even be mine. But who knows? Maybe life is just a dream. Mr. Cheshire Cat, before you go, do you know where any warm shelter is? 
In one direction lives a Mad Hatter. In the other direction lives a March Hare. You can choose whoever you like. They're both mad. But I don't like mad people. Well, you would have to be mad. Or else you wouldn't be here. But I'm not angry at all. No, not in that way, silly. Crazy mad. That's what our world is. Our world is nothing but crazy chess pieces, crazy creatures, and something even out of only the ordinary. And with that, I bid you adieu. Oh, thank you for your comfort, Mr. Cat. I'll take your advice. Huh, what's that strange music? <laughs> oh my! It smells like tea and biscuits! They must be having a tea party! March Hare, guess what day it is? No, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Ah, it's my own birthday. It's mine too. Um, excuse me, uh, may I sit down? There's no room at this table. Yeah, no room at all. There is enough room. You have a stinging couch here. Well then, you better sit down before anyone else takes it. Riddle me this. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I have no idea. Nor do we. Well, what's the point of ra wasting time with riddles? Your hair needs cutting. It's very rude to make personal remarks. Have some wine. I'm a bit too young to drink it. Well, what's the point of saying that when there isn't any? <laughs> You know what? I'm leaving. This is the most stupid tea party I've ever been to. And second of all, there isn't even any tea. Good day. It's rude to make personal remarks. <laughs> Whatever. What is with all these things disappearing and reappearing? It's giving me a headache. <gasps> you can't catch me, copper! Thief! Thief! What's going on here, Griffin? That thief right there has run off with King Spaden's tarts! I must get him! King Spaden, King Spaden, he sounds really annoying. <sighs> Listen, Nave, you're a good friend of mine. Don't do this. You're a traitor, Griffin. Revolution! Frick! No! Well, it looks like I'm gonna be caught in, in a situation again.